All right, what do we got here? I've got almost every single car that Matchbox put out between 1953 and 1969. Didn't rob a toy store, did you? No, I did not. Okay. <laughs> I came down to the pawn shop today to pawn my collection of vintage Matchbox. I'm in need of temporary cash flow. I am looking for $20,000. Oh, I'm very confident that taking this loan that I will pay it back. So where'd you get all this? I've been collecting since I was young, actually. There's roughly a 1,000 pieces, almost 600 of them in boxes. Matchbox is a huge company. I mean, there's a huge collector market out there for them. Everything is pre-70, which is considered the most collectible because in 70, Matchbox changed their whole way of manufacturing due to Hot Wheels being released. Most Matchbox cars are scaled down versions of actual vehicles. Kids went crazy for them, but then Hot Wheels came out with wilder hot rod type cars. So to keep up, Matchbox completely transformed their line. Now the cars from the 50s and 60s can be worth some serious money. This collection is without duplicates. Everything in here is different. Right. For an example, this car here, it's a uh, BP gas tanker. The fact that it has gray wheels instead of black plastic wheels makes this a thousand dollar car. Okay. Let's see, here I've got King and Queen Coronation coaches. There was only 200 ever made in 1953. That will go for between two, 250. I gotta admit, it's in great shape and it's got the original box, which is amazing. So what do you wanna do with these? I'm hoping to pawn them. Okay, uh, how much were you looking to get? I'm hoping to get 20,000. <laughs> $20,000, okay. I don't know enough about this stuff to just shell out 20 grand. Right. But my buddy Johnny will know. So let me get him down here, have him go through all these boxes, and maybe we'll get something done. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. Let me give him a call. Thanks. This is an amazing collection, but I don't know if it's 20 grand amazing. The worst thing you want to do in a pawn shop is loan someone a lot of money. And then they don't come back to pick up their merchandise, and that merchandise is worth a lot less than you thought it was. So I have to make sure this deal makes sense. Johnny, my man. Hey, what's up, guys? The guys usually call me down here to take a look at some toys or give them some more information about a piece. What's going on? This guy wants to pawn all of his Matchbox stuff. He's got, like, thousands of cars and pieces here. So I was hoping you could maybe go through it for me. Yeah, no problem, man. The Matchbox came out in the late 40s. And they were really popular because they had a lot of detail, a lot of moving parts, opening doors. There was virtually no competition up until 68 when Hot Wheels released their first 16. In the Matchbox world, the boxes are everything. A lot of the value is the condition. Most of the collectors that buy the Matchbox cars, they only want to buy them with the boxes and everything complete. You got the Coronation Coach. They've made two to 300 of these pieces when they coronated uh, Queen Elizabeth. This is a really, really rare piece. I've seen these go for twelve to $1,500. If you got the BP tanker with the gray wheels, that's a $1,000 piece right there. Also, if you got some of the king size pieces here, these can go $300 a piece. You have some jewels in these boxes here. This collection is amazing. I mean, boxes, condition, rarity. It has all the factors going for it. So what are your questions about this collection? What's it all worth? Everything's pretty mint. It's a pretty complete collection. I would put a price in the collection at 25 to 28 grand on the whole collection. Uh, I'd have to uh, disagree with that. All right, what do you think it's worth? I put it at 75,000 myself. Okay, I mean, that's like top end retail. I would say about 10 years ago, at the peak of the market, you would have probably been closer to that number. I would say probably 28 grand on today's value. Thanks, Johnny. You're the best. Appreciate it, buddy. No problem, man. If this guy doesn't come back and pick up this collection, I hope Rick gives me a call, because this is the kind of stuff I love to have in my store. All right, my man, you're looking for a $20,000 loan. I've got no problem giving it to you. Mm -hmm. 20 grand is a big loan. With loans like this, you got to make sure you're crystal clear and completely fair. Even if that means dishing out advice, the last thing you want is some guy claiming you weren't up front. You gotta understand, man, my typical loan is 100 bucks. I strongly suggest you do not take a $20,000 loan. Think of a number that you absolutely need, because you gotta pay me back, man, and believe it or not, the more money I loan you, the more money I make. Right. right. It's a 120-day loan. You don't pick it up, the stuff's mine. Fair enough. So what do you want to do? Mm. 
I need the 20. It's uh, not what I want. It's what I need. All right, write them up, son. All right, man, deal. Thank you. I appreciate the fact that they attempted to lower my loan amount. However, the loan amount is what I was needing, and I will see them soon to retrieve my cars.